Ikrita, Queen of the Dark Elves, who would later become the silent assassin of the Five Mages. Her enemies do not suffer, for death comes swiftly in one single cruel shot. Welcome everyone to the Five Star Hero Review for Idrita, the latest event to come to Call of Antia. And today in the studios, we have an exciting news. We have a guest, Tech News. Reveal yourself. Yay. Yay. Hi everyone. Yes, welcome to, this, to the live stream. And uh, we're very happy to be to have you here with us and can you tell me what do you think of Idrita's de character design art? Oh, she looks like a character from the movie Avatar uh -huh, and uh -huh. she's like really like a queen because of her majestic pose and like ready yeah. to strike anyone anytime. Yeah, she definitely has a very cool design and, and mysterious and like assassin kind of character about her, isn't it? And let's look at her skill right now. She has this skill that does 876% damage, one of wow. the highest, yes, one of the highest in Call of Antia so far in a single hit and increases the mana gain and also her damage when the purple ally causes a skill. What do you think of this skill? Amazing, isn't it, hey? Yeah. So we go into the awakenings and the first awakening, each ally she gives mana gain to her, second one increases attack, defense, max HP and critical chance, third awaken restores mana, 25% mana when a purple ally casts a skill. Fourth one is the same as the second one, so now 20% critical chance plus 5% base. Um, now Awaken 5, when casting a skill, increase her damage further by 40% for 3 turns. Absolutely fully monster. Fully awakened. <laughs> yeah, obviously man, because I tested her, I love her. And this, we're gonna trial her now with the Master 4 Titan, I'm gonna use Elmis. And this is my setup, I'm using a, a mana gain weapon on him, as usual. Idrita got her exclusive. And I got it with the special effect, plus 30% critical damage. That is absolutely going to do a lot of damage. And now we have Venus with the Guardian of Tower to further increase damage from the Naya Stones. We got Damon with the Eldin's weapon to increase his damage. We've got High Tower. You can put Energizing Whip. You can put Energizing Sword on him as well. So that's basically going to give us starting mana. I'm going to be using Glacier to to give me some some heals. You know because um. Dark heroes, they, they lack healers, unfortunately. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. We're ready. Here we go. Let's, we, the objective here is to quickly get everyone's mana. As you can see, we're already starting with 60% mana. We get a 6 Dark Stone match. And Gosh. everyone is already fully charged. Fire the Idrita into, wow, 5.5 nearly. Uh, K damage. And then we got Venus. Using her skill, going to put that poison, giving 25% Elmis is going to give 25% as you can see she's already halfway charged. We've got more purpose, we use high tower, recycle into another 6 dark uh, stones and then we fire <laughs> skills another, another time and about 5k as well this time. It's not bad, it's not bad damage at all right? And then we go into Venus and we have, we, have, we still have lots of, lots of uh, purple gems. And there you go, she's charged up again. That's actually quite fast for a hero that's supposed to be slow charging, don't you think? And there we go. We burst the Titan's shoes, which is very important because when he gets a shoe, you need to destroy his shoe within three turns. Otherwise, massive lots of damage is coming. I'm going to show you guys. Now you see, he can't attack and cast skill or gain mana. That's what we want because we destroy his shoe. And this is the one a lot of players are having difficulty when he gets some shoes when at, at mid health. He's going to, uh, after, at the end of three turns, he's going to do lots of, lots of damage. And you can see, we are really building up our damage from the crits and also from Dahamon's charge and also Venus weapon as well. What do you think of the damage so far? Technos. Really cool. I like how your board just keeps Boom, on going. Boom! Wow, 12k. Yeah. yeah, it's just like dark heroes as well. They complement each other, but you know, it just yes. keeps going and going and going and yes, going. Yes, you get the, the idea. Titan can't even breathe. Yeah, that's that's the idea about this deck, and it's just absolutely amazing. It's smashing this master four, master four titan, the hardest hardest difficulty. Mm, it right. Is. It's not easy, even the Titan, like the Master 2 is not yeah. very easy to go through. I mean, with this particular Titan, it's easy. It uh, because easy. Anything, <laughs> anything, I mean, any of the heroes can hit it. Yes. But I mean, like the one that are specifics, it's not going to be easy because of the shield. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, 
Yeah, that's how I feel. But I really yeah. like how you see everyone keeps charging up. Yeah. You keep getting good boards. I'm not even that lucky. I would die. Okay, I, I hope you. I hope you get. I hope you get Idrita soon. But yeah, this is the idea how this this deck works with Idrita easily. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna play out there right now. She's gonna be one of the most important damage for purple team definitely. We've got Elmis again. Gonna Armin use his skill to give us even more purple, and this is going to be checkmate. Checkmate! The Titan! Boom! Explosions! Ooh. Yes! Ooh. Oh, done. <laughs> and we got the rewards that we came after, which I, is this. That is so unfair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. Hey. Look at that. This is the better statistics. What do you think of that? We've got 62k just from uh, Idrita alone. Obviously, it pales in comparison to Diamond, but it's still 62k. And thanks to Elmis, thanks to Venus, a lot of people are saying Venus are not that good, but that is this team's composition that's giving Idrita lots of mana to keep casting her skills for 62k per turn. Yeah, it's really cool seeing how she charges really quick, like you say, as a slow charger. Yes. So I think it's really good for a dark hero team. Yes, amazing. Let's move on to the next showcase where we're going to look at the PvP, how we're going to use Idrita in PvP. Let's go! Oh, Technos, we have just te teleported to the arena. How are you feeling? Oh my god, so dizzy. Okay, no worries. Okay, so over here, we have ki quite the defense here. We have Isadora, we have Wanda, we have Garabeth. I mean, the Diamond is, is just standing there. And then we have Irelia as well. So we are up against that. And we're using an Elmis plus Edrite Forest team plus a Cycler High Tower. What do you think? You think we have stand a chance against such a defense? Do you think? I mean, we're short 5k uh, total power. Everyone knows that they can't go against you anyway, regardless. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, my, my Nessa is only level 90 over here, you know? <laughs> okay, let's Let find see. out together, okay? Let's go in into Idrita. As you can see, level 5 runes equipped and her exclusive weapon. We go to Percival. I've just put his own shield weapon on himself to get more protection since he also is like level 120. We've got Elmis, level 150 with the mana gain weapon then we got Nessa I put this uh, level 90 so I give her more protection just to keep her alive uh -huh. okay and we've got high tower with the energizing whip. Ooh, the whip okay so this deck is basically counting on um whoops gone, gone to the wrong screen but this is basically counting on Edric Forest which the faction adds dodging to the whole uh, Edric Forest member. So right now we're up to 20% dodge and we will further decrease the accuracy. Let's jump on in. I'll show you how we use this team to win. Woohoo! We got a bit of a... Um, uh, oh God, purple, purple gems. Yeah? What? what what's, what's up with my mana? Oh my god. Oh, up already. Oh yeah. <laughs> because of the energizing weapon, we've got 60%. So we're just going to match this over here and see if we can get a cascade. We don't... But we can match this and that will give us... Wow! I mean, look at my luck! What do you think? Why okay. you get such good balls? I don't know man, maybe because I'm Nihi. But look at this, alright. Um, What can you tell me about Garabeth? Do you, do you find Garabeth scary? Yeah, she's very hard to hit. Really? And I really like her though. Really? Take a look at this. One shot to Garabeth scout. Boom! 5.4k. <laughs> Garabeth. Where, where's Garabeth? I can't find Garabeth anymore. What, what happened to Garabeth? I really hate you. For just, <laughs> just, just okay, and and uh, look at Nessa. Nessa's got um, single target shots for 6 hits and each hit has 6% chance to decrease the enemy's accuracy by 10%. We're going to do that to Irelia here so that we hope she's going to miss us. She's going to give um, mana as well to to our our, our, our Idrita. Okay, and this is Percival sucking everybody's mana and we're gonna go into into Elmis to, to dispel everybody and, and give us even more extra gems. What do you think about this? This is crazy, isn't it, eh? Uh, I shall, I'm speechless. I shall let you have the honest press press the dark. Yes, the dark star, press it. Oh my god, explosions! Wow! Wow that, that yeah. Oh my god, that's this is a 50k this is 50k being being torn apart by uh, Idrite Forest and Idrita. Oh my god, you see? He's shooting my Elmis, but it's not enough. Okay, next one, I think we're just going to kill Isadora. Aim at her. Seven, 7k. Instant instant kill. Isn't that, huh? 
and then we're going to continue to put accuracy down on on diamond we're going to um what, what do we want to do huh <laughs> i think we just we just focus on diamond because i think it really is pretty much dead <laughs> we're going to cast elmis oh i thought she's going to die but yeah she's about dead <laughs> high tower cycling and it doesn't count as a, as a turn but what happens is that you see everything will just fly up and then we can just use idrita i'm sure that diamond is going to leave one hit but he won't be leaving too long that's for sure okay match that are you are you enjoying so far the mana transference to idrita and 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 uh from the from the purple allies and 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 this deck what do you think i am i'm just oh my god seeing the 4K. injustice that you're doing to other people <laughs> it's okay megan won't mind megan is is uh it's on TV right now, okay? She won't mind. Look at look at the baddest, better statistics. 21k just from Idrita. And like what I said, not fully max, not fully max, not fully max. I mean this is also not fully max because now four star heroes can get two. Level 180. Against the enemy. Look at that. Huh? What do you think? This is so unfair. I always wanted Garabeth and you've done this to me. Now I don't know I don't want her anymore. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, but this is just one example of how I use Ijita. Show me another one. Okay, you want to see another one? I've got another one for you. Okay, so this time, instead of who should we target, huh? Do you want to target Huko 2? He's got Sigmund. 180 Sigmund. He's got Mitus. He's got Malfort. He's got, <coughs> he's got Wukong. No, yeah. Can you show me this one? Mitus usually is kind of hard with his shield and everything. Okay. It pisses me off. Yeah. Mitus, huh? We will obliterate him. So, again, I'll show you with this team that I I was playing around with the other day. This is a fun team. So, we got 3-2 three, team. 3 purple, 2 blues. Mm -hmm. We got Idrita, okay, and same weapon configuration, Percival as well, mm -hmm. and Elmis, yeah. and then now we have Fiona. Fiona's holding the energizing star for me right now to give everybody mana. Mm -hmm. We got Alia to give blue stones because we, we don't have a weapon that turns uh, gems to purple or dark at the start of the game. So we're going to use this weapon to try and board control at the start. You think that's a good idea? Yeah. I okay. Think that's good. At least you get some sort of um, control over the stones that you, it shows you. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's go and have a look. Okay. You can see we already have. So so this is this is how this this team is going to be used. Already we have a match five at the bottom right side. So we won't go and bother with that. We'll just match the purple. Okay. And then we'll continue to match all the all the blues, so that now. Wow, we are so lucky. We actually managed to get a bit of purple as well. So this this is a great team because it also gives um, heals to the purple and uh, allies because of Alia. And then basically we are just we just also all matching all these Naya blue stones also give mana. So you can see right now we can go for a Percival and it will drain the enemies mana. Okay, who do you think Idrita should kill first, huh? You want to kill Malfort first, or, or who do you want to kill? Mitus. Mitus, you're, you're so afraid of Mitus. Mitus, we've got Elmis. We, we don't. I think we, we would either. Okay, show me your pro tips. We would either hit the um, Sigmund, or we might even do the. Maybe we'll do a Malfort, okay? Full. One shot, one kill? Well, yeah, let's, let's see if we can one shot him, but. Wow, there you go. He's gone. Oh my gosh. And I, 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 thought, I thought Malfort was a very big character, but apparently not. He's gone. Hey, eh? okay, so we'll just. Continue to match all the blues and look at that cascading for this. This is a fun deck to use as well, isn't it? Right? For well, the enemy. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Sigmund's up. Yeah, that is, that is crazy, right? But Thank god I have him. Thank god you have him. Oh my god. Luckily, we, we, just, we just survived that. Okay? And we'll go and target. We're going to... Uh, let me see. I don't, I don't think we, we, we need to do... Too much now because you know enemy is 
pretty much dead already from this point. Okay, that's it. That's game. There we go. There we go, okay. Definitely that was a little bit scary towards the end, but you know, I, I, I had my Fiona, I had my Alia ready for the heals. I wasn't really too, too afraid. I, I wasn't, I wasn't. Do you believe that? Look at this. 15k damage to that team, okay. Again, um, not fully all leveled, okay. Especially Percival is only 120, but I'm taking on a fully leveled team over here. Right, wow, even the Lin is level 180. Look. Wow. That's amazing. I'm just speechless. But like I said, anyone who goes against me, he forget it. You don't even stand a chance. Oh, you're too... You know, I I, I mean, I, I just I just like playing uh, Arena a lot. And, you know, learning, I'm learning from everybody and everything. But, you know, happy to bring this showcase to you about Idrita. Uh, I think right now, maybe we should try to conclude what we feel about Idrita right now for you. Um, I would like to hear your thoughts before, you know, I, 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 I say what I want to say. So, Technos, please, can you let us know, like, you know, how what you think? Well, I mean, I want Gareth all uh -huh. the time because I haven't got her. Yeah, yeah but... I know you're crazy over her. Yes, but after seeing what Idrita can do, I'm kind of like, should you, I still you're, get a you're, not? you're afraid of other people who have Ijita <laughs> right now, right? Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, I don't have a lot of dark heroes, so I don't okay. think she might work for me. I think you have an Elmis. Right? I've got Elmis, I've got Zarnia, but I yes. need Percival, all those. I might have to. I don't have Percival, but even okay. if there are other dark heroes, I have to up them. I'm sure you have a Nessa yeah. there. Nessa is three star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I, I see what are. you mean. I see what you mean. So, yeah. and um, even the yes. Awaken, there's a lot of resources that you have to probably put yeah. into Awaken. Yes, her. yes, but I agree I mean, with you. I wouldn't that. mind drawing her, but mm. I'm personally being a free to play. Like, sometimes I just spend a bit here and there, but I don't yes. spend a lot. Um, I Fair might want to, you know, wait for either Taurus and Garabeth. Well, that's my personal opinion, just okay. because I still like Garabeth a lot. Yes. Yeah, okay. Even though. You yes, and, and just Garibeth. ruined my dream <laughs> there and then. So, well, yeah. Garabeth and Idrita, they function quite differently. Garabeth is more reactive and she's not a active, you know, skill-using kind of damage hero. But I get what you mean because with Garabeth, you don't really have to awaken her. Whereas with Idrita, it kind of feels like you have to plus one to plus three kind of range to make her viable with other purple heroes, you know, in addition to having Elmis and maybe the e uh dark heroes like Percival. But all in all, I think I think Idrita definitely does look promising for the future of Core of Antia. Don't you agree, Technos? Yeah, I think she looks promising for dark heroes because dark heroes haven't been given much love, I feel. Okay. So I think she is one of the ones that come out. That She's seems the saviour, yes. It seems like Dark Heroes are you know, making a comeback compared to others. Okay. Yes, I think that she's quite promising. <laughs> but yeah, unless if I have enough resources, then yeah. Okay, no worries. I think that's all we want to say eh, about Idrita. And you guys who are watching this video, thank you for coming to watch. Anyway guys... This has been lo really lovely. Hope you guys will draw for Idrita. Let us know in the comment section what you think about Idrita, this angel of death. This is Nihi. We are out. Bye-bye.